Greetings, my friends. There's a bunch of scripture in the Bible that describes the future Antichrist. All those scripture match one person and one person only. That's Barack Hussein Obama. I've shared that scripture so many times. So, so, so many times. So many videos. Just Google them. Check it out. I won't rehash it again. Now I'm focusing on one particular scripture. Luke 10, 18. Let's dig into this. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning falling from the heavens. Jesus spoke these words in Aramaic, the most ancient form of Hebrew. In Strong's Hebrew Dictionary, word number 1299, a primitive root word meaning to lighten or lightning or to cast forth, is Barak or Barak. <clears throat> as in Isaiah 14, 16 to 19, the word for heights or heavens, According to Strong's Hebrew Dictionary, word number 1116, meaning to be high, in elevation, height, high place, wave, is Bama or Bamao. In Hebrew, the letter Wow or Vow is translated as the letter U. Some scholars use the letter O for this translation. They're interchangeable. It is primarily used as a conjunction to join two concepts together. So, Barak. Obama or Barak Obama in Hebrew poetry would translate literally as lightning from the heights. The word Satan is a direct translation in Hebrew. So, Jesus' prophecy in Luke 10 18, if spoken by a Jewish rabbi today, influenced by the poetry of Isaiah, he would say, And I saw Satan as Barak Obama. You can believe what you want to believe. Think what you want to think. All I'm doing is, is putting scripture out. I've been doing so many times, letting you read it, letting you absorb it, letting you seek the Lord and see what he shows you. I already got all the scripture that describes the Antichrist in stone, and every one of them matches Barack Hussein Obama. They don't match the princes of England. They don't match Erdogan. They don't match Putin. They don't match the, the head of Syria. They don't match uh, Cyprus, that clown in, in, in Greek, Greece. They match Barack Hussein Obama. And I might even try to put those scripture, the main scripture below this video in the box if I've got room. But I've shared it so many times. And again, it's available in so many, on the hundreds of videos I have on YouTube that describe who the Antichrist actually is. I don't care that it's Obama because I won't be here when he takes control. But as a watchman, it's my job to warn you because the sad facts bear out that most Christians will be here left behind because they won't repent of their sins, the way at least 250 scriptures that I've found say you have to, the way the Apostle Paul himself said that you could be shipwrecked, he, he himself could be shipwrecked or cast away or damned to hell forever. If after preaching to everybody else about the truth, he does not keep his own self straight through repentance, regular repentance. Jesus Christ is your only hope, my friends. America's dead. The world is dead. If you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray the prayer. Do the six steps I have in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed the next day, hour, minute, or second of your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. Christians, your job is to witness and pray for the lost daily. If you're not doing it, do it now. And if you are, great. And look up. And if you draw nigh, we fly soon. You guys take care of yourselves.